When a patient is hospitalized and needs their electrolytes replenished, they will most likely receive an IV drip. To replenish electrolytes, a saline drip made out of water and sodium chloride is used. Saline drips are 0.90% saline, which means that the concentration of sodium chloride in the IV bag is 0.0090 grams per milliliter. If we wanted to make a 2-liter IV bag, well, the rest of the question would go here. As we know, like all problems, our first step needs to be to determine the number of moles of each chemical species in our beaker. Let's take this problem step by step. What's always the first step when we want to calculate an amount of something in moles? That's right, we always draw a beaker first and we need the number of moles of solute. We know that the concentration is 0.0090 grams per milliliter. That means that every 1 milliliter of the solution has 0.0090 grams of sodium chloride. How many grams of sodium chloride are in our solution? We know that each milliliter of our solution has 0.0090 grams of sodium chloride, but we don't have only one milliliter. We have way more. We have two liters of the solution. Because our concentration is given in terms of milliliters, we'll convert two liters into milliliters to get 2,000 milliliters to make all of our units uniform. To figure out how many moles of sodium chloride are in our 2,000 milliliter solution, we'll start with the 2,000 milliliters. What is the next step that lets us cancel out the volume units and gets us to units of mass? We're given the concentration of the saline with units of grams per milliliter. This means that, like density in the previous video, concentration is key to getting us from units of volume to units of mass. Once we multiply 2,000 milliliters by the concentration in grams per milliliter, the milliliters cancel out and we are left with grams of sodium chloride. But we need to know the amount of sodium chloride we have in moles. What is this amount? The molar mass of sodium chloride is 58.44 grams per mole. That's right. By multiplying by the molar mass, we found that there are 0.31 moles of sodium chloride in a 2 liter saline drip. But before we write 0.31 moles of sodium chloride in our beaker, we have to remember that sodium chloride is an ionic compound, and ionic compounds always break up into ions when they are dissolved in water. So that means that our beaker actually has 0.31 moles of sodium ions and 0.31 moles of chloride ions. And the total volume of the beaker is 2 liters. I'm not really sure what the rest of the problem actually is, but we'll be able to answer it with the important information here in our beaker. Let's try one more. Another common IV fluid is the D5W solution, which contains glucose with a concentration of 0.056 grams per milliliter. Calculate the amount of glucose in moles in a 500 milliliter IV pouch. The molar mass of glucose is 180.16 grams per mole, and glucose is a molecular compound, so it doesn't break up into ions when dissolved. A 500 milliliter solution of D5W contains 0.155 moles of glucose. We start by drawing our beaker. We want moles of solute, glucose, in the beaker and the volume under it. We'll start with the 500 milliliters and use the given concentration to cancel out our milliliter units and to leave us with units of mass of glucose. We're now in grams, but we need to go one step farther and convert into moles. This means that our last step is to multiply by the molar mass to cancel out the gram units and to get us to moles. Once we multiply everything out, we see that there is 0.155 moles of glucose in the 500 milliliters of D5W solution. I hope that's what the patient needs. 